In the 2023 release, super tags have an increased length of tag names, allowing better structuring of super tags. In addition, there is a tap for super tags, providing better accessibility and improved engineering efficiency. In the super tags panel, you can see the existing super tags and create new templates and instances. We created a new super tag template tank and in its configuration window we defined the attributes temperature and tank level and also added latitude and longitude attributes using the available buttons. We can create new instances from our tank template. Go to the tag name dictionary for these instances, and from here in the member list easily assign values for the attributes we created in the tank template. Assigning initial values for tank 1 temperature, tank level, longitude and latitude attributes. While tags are used to store and manipulate values and properties in an HMI and SCADA application, super tags provide a way to logically organize and easily replicate these tags. Now we are assigning initial values for tank 2 temperature, tank level, longitude and latitude attributes. In the application script editor, the on startup scripts, execute before an initialization. The while running scripts execute at a specified frequency while the application is running. The millisec field gives us the ability to define the frequency of script execution. We can now assign the recently created tag name attributes, the tank 1 and tank 2 level and temperature, to analog 1, 2, 3, and 4. This will come into play while the application is running. Let's perform an import of a pre-configured industrial graphics to aid us with visualization when we use the map widget. With this new 2023 release, you will notice that in your InTouch HMI window maker, in the industrial graphics toolbox under widgets, we now have the map option. Multiple map sources are supported by the map widget, in this case we will use the OpenStreetMap provider. Let's configure the tank 1 and tank 2 graphics in the map location settings. The latitude and longitude that we previously created can be seen here. Widgets work by placing them into an industrial graphic and then placing that industrial graphic in a window. For our example, we'll place the map widget in symbol window 1. In addition, we can add text as desired to help with visualization. Let's fine tune the widget properties. Here we are adding the config name. We are also added the default values for latitude and longitude and default value for zoom. Once done, we save and close. Now, let's navigate to runtime to see the map widget in action. Map widget drives context-aware mapping and gives ability to attach interactive real-time graphics and content to specified coordinates. We see that the tank 1 and tank 2 are showing at the latitude and longitude that were specified. The temperature and tank level attributes that we also configured are visible here along with their enabled trends.